Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited because today I'm at Target. <laughs> I don't know if that is um, surprising to anybody, but if you've been around, you know I love Target and I love Starbucks coffee, um, pretty much all the basic mom things I love. But a lot of you guys have been wanting pregnancy, postpartum, and nursing friendly like clothing hauls and things like that. And the other day that I was here at Target, I found so many new spring items at Target and almost every single piece I looked at, I thought, oh my gosh, this would be perfect for a bump or this would be perfect for postpartum or for nursing and pumping on the go. Um, whether you're a stay at home mom, whether you're a working mom, all of those things. So. I thought we should do a try on haul. I will go into the dressing rooms and try on these items. Now, obviously I am not pregnant. I am going through postpartum and I do still nurse. I mostly nurse at nighttime though. So during the day, every once in a while I have to do that. But I do wanna share with you guys all of the items that I know that I would wear if I was pregnant or that I would wear if I needed to pump and nurse on the go, especially going through postpartum. Those early months of postpartum where you definitely, you know, your stomach's still bigger, you wanna be comfortable, but you still wanna look stylish if you go out and about, um, or even if you just wanna stay in your PJs at home. Target has like the best postpartum pajamas in the world. I've always gotten a new pair from them every single time I've had a baby. Before we get too far into this video, let me just say if you've never been here before, my name is Jessica, aka Soul Tribe Mama. My channel is all about motherhood. We do style, we do postpartum, pregnancy, anything you can think of that has to do with mom life is on this channel. So please make sure you like this video and subscribe down below. I would love to have you a part of this Soul Tribe Mama family. And if you like style haul videos, let me know down below because I would love to do more of those this year in 2022. I love style. I love to look through my Instagram, find some of the um, accounts that I actually follow just for style and style inspiration. And that's how I pick out my outfits every day. So if you guys are interested in that as well, I would love to delve more into that in my channel this year. Obviously, I'm not leaving behind any of my pregnant mamas or anything like that. I will still be talking about all things pregnancy, postpartum, um, motherhood, like I said. So stick around, make sure you subscribe, and obviously you guys can always let me know what type of videos you want to see next. That's my favorite. I love getting ideas from you guys as well. I know some of you guys love like the routine videos, morning, night routines, um, day in the lives are always a big hit and especially with four kids. So again, I don't know if I said that. I probably have already said it a million times, but I am a mom of four kids and today is actually my birthday. I just turned 35 years old. So because it's my birthday, I'm vlogging on my birthday. Like, it's kind of funny. I told my mom, like, I'm gonna go to Target and do this try on haul and, and film. And she was like, you're gonna work on your birthday? I'm like, yeah, but it's so fun. And for one, I'm going to Target. I love Target. Number two, I'm looking at clothes. I love shopping. I love putting on clothes. I love putting things together. So why not? Number three, it's my birthday. I can do whatever I want. And number four, my husband is home. Half the kids are with family members. My husband has the other two. I'm gonna do all this fun stuff and get out of the house by myself with no kiddos and then later on drop off the babies with my mom so hubby and I can have some time together. All I want for my birthday is time with my husband because he's been gone a lot. So thank you guys for all the birthday wishes, especially on my Instagram. I will leave my handle here. If you don't follow me yet, go head to Instagram and follow me over there on um, on Insta. I'm always sharing really great things on my stories. Um, sometimes I tried to make this an every Tuesday thing, but with all the four kids, it can get a little crazy. But I try to weekly or bi-weekly or monthly, whenever I can, go to Target on my stories and let you guys know what's new at Target. So if you are a Target fiend like I am, definitely watch out for those and make sure you follow me over there for that reason alone <laughs> because we love target all right y'all without further ado let's go ahead and go inside and see what they got this is 
dog cake pot and I'm trying out a new coffee it's the uh, salted caramel cream cold brew I haven't really ever had that before so we'll see what it's like how you doing man? good how are you good 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 grab my bag. Looks pretty good. It's a lot of cream foam. <laughs> uh, I wish they had this. This Target doesn't have anything like cups holders to put your cups in, which really sucks, but it's okay. Okay, y'all, I'm not going to try all these t-shirts on for y'all, but if you are going to be pregnant, men's t-shirts are the way to go because they are going to be longer and slimmer, so you size up like one or two sizes if you want like oversized look, but it is going to go past your bump even if you are a lot further along in your pregnancy and your bump is very big. Always opt for men's t-shirts come in the men's section they have really cool graphics or you can just get regular plain old any whatever color you want it's cheaper you'll get wear out of it and then after you're pregnant they're great for postpartum because then they're oversized they cover up any areas and you're comfy always always get men's t-shirts not women's all right y'all I hope the lighting is good in here I have a ton of stuff for y'all this is what I'm wearing right now, just super comfy sneakers, leggings, um, this, what I recall this, I don't even know. <laughs> this denim jacket is actually from Target though, so we shall see. Let's get going. I'm going to start with dresses and I do have like kind of like a romper, two rompers. We're going to do dresses and then we will move from there. So let's do this. Oh. And I have tons of shoes as well to go with all the outfits. All right, y'all, so this first look, this dress, I actually have it in a small right now and it fits me perfectly fine. But I think this dress would be perfect if you were pregnant because it is gonna make it through almost your whole pregnancy, but I would size up one size. So if you are a regular medium, I would go to a large. Um, this is actually a small which is weird that it fits me, but it is tight around certain areas So if I were to buy this dress, I would wear it in a medium no matter what whether I'm pregnant or not um, but then again this dress works great for postpartum because of the style that it is So you see how you've got this big flare here. It does have the V um, it's got kind of like these um, cuffed almost cinched up down here on, on the wrists but I love this color I have seen it in a couple other colors but again like I said I'd size up if it's if it's for your bump and then after you have your baby you can wear this around the house and be comfy it's really lightweight it flows really pretty I paired it with these sneakers that I found here at Target. I can't remember the name of them, um, but again, y'all, I'll have, have I'll try to link everything that I show y'all today down in the description box. I definitely think dresses like this, especially with a bump, and then adding white tennis shoes looks so cute. But again, like I said, after you've had your baby, this right here is gonna hide anything going on here that you don't like and that you feel self-conscious about. It also has pockets, which is always a great, <laughs> a great thing. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys one other way that I would style it with a different shoe, like if you're gonna wear it to church or something like that. All right, y'all, so same dress, 
really cute dress but instead this braided heel i love that these are kind of um on the shorter side they're not very tall and they're just slip-ons so again if you have a bump you do not want to be bent over trying to put your shoes on and do any buckles or any of that kind of type thing plus you don't want your heel to be that tall either i love that the heel is super thick it's actually a rounded heel so it's super thick and then it does have that braided look to it it comes in black and then this is kind of like their white cream color please excuse my toenails they need to be done really bad um, but they're actually really really comfortable I have wide feet after having four babies and I did size up I think these are a size 10 and I usually wear a nine and a half just so that my heel isn't like hanging off the bottom or my toes aren't hang hanging off the top so if you do have wider feet I might size up like half a size but they are comfortable they don't feel like they're gonna come off my feet at all so here is look number one for the bump and for postpartum okay y'all this is dress number two for bump and postpartum again I don't know why it's coming up red here on my screen but in person it's more of like a really pretty coral orange color it has the same type of sleeve but it also has that right here so you could wear it like this or you could wear it off the shoulder off both shoulders if you wanted to really really pretty also has pockets um, it's a little bit more flowy here it doesn't have you know the little cutoffs there it just has it on the bottom this is also more of like an ankle length and I did add the uh, same braided neutral colored little heel there again you could always wear sandals you could wear the white tennis shoes with this too dress it up dress it down but again y'all because of the flowiness you could totally wear this with a big old bump or postpartum to cover up anything that you don't want to happen now because this top is so easy to pull down i definitely do think that you could use this as a breastfeeding um dress the only thing is is you would just have to make sure that you pull down one side and that the other side doesn't come down too so either way i really really like this dress and i can't remember what size i got i think it's a medium which is my natural size my normal size and i think that there's plenty of room so you probably don't need to size up but i would try it on and just see for yourself all right y'all so here is number three this one again is really good for pregnancy postpartum and for breastfeeding because of this collar you could also like the other one pull it down on one side on both sides it does have ruching here I think the only difference between this one and the other one is this one has more detail so not only from the ruffling and the cinching here and around the arms it is shorter in length on the arms but I don't know if y'all can tell there's like an eyelet detail on it and then it does have the um, little ruffle on the bottom so again I added the braided nude or not nude like cream colored heels these like midi heels I think these are going to become a staple in the springtime I'm really tempted to just buy these myself because they go with literally everything you could wear them with a dress with jean shorts with denim pants I mean everything so like I said they come in this cream and they come in a black color but I do love this yellow mustard color it also has pockets and I do love all the extra detailing if you don't like the extra detailing then I think the other two are a better option um, this material does feel a little bit heavier a little bit thicker so maybe it might be a little too hot if you get hot easy um, the other ones are not all right, y'all, this next one, it was almost like a staple for me, especially when I had my bump because I loved showing it off. So I loved wearing super tight clothing and dresses. This right here is, it comes up right above my knee. I actually got a large because if it were me, I would buy a large so that I could wear it throughout my pregnancy and it could stretch and grow. The whole dress is stretchy. It has this like collar detail that is really popular right now. It says lucky right here. So if you don't like that, <laughs> obviously you don't need to have that but they have a couple other dresses kind of in the same style with different things that say right here different colors I just really loved this green color 
I added the denim jacket from Target and then also the same white sneakers. These would look really cute with the socks and the um, Nike Air Force Ones. You could always dress it up and add like a leather jacket with some booties or over the knee boots even. I definitely, definitely love this. This is the large from the side, like I said, and um, you could have plenty of room because the whole thing is stretched to wear it for your bump. All right, y'all, this is a super simple, almost like a t-shirt material dress. It is like a tank t-shirt material dress and this really pretty like really light orange coral it's got this really really pretty fluffy um ruffle detail just to make it a little bit different not so casual it is still casual i'm wearing my regular size medium but like i said if you want to wear it with a bump or if you're trying to use it just as postpartum try it on and see how it fits you and if you think so go up a size always um this is the medium for me now it does have stretch to it but like right now if i wanted to buy this for pregnancy i probably could only go halfway and with the medium if i got the large i could probably go all the way but it hits me probably about calf length and then these are the um they were super popular the steve madden dupes with like the little rhinestones on them these are the neutral color again because this dress is so casual i think this kind of just elevates it a little bit or you could wear sneakers you could put little um heels on as as well um and then let me show you another way i would also style this all right so they also have some really really pretty button down shirts that are that i cannot remember the name of this material y'all but it it's like that summery cotton super flowy um, breathable material and, but I really love the print on this one and it's got like peach and pink yellow greens all in like the really pastel colors so it can go with anything again going with this dress um, if you need like a cover-up something super super cute but still not too hot you don't want to be too hot this is a great option I just have it off the shoulder just to show this ruffle here but you can wear it like that again with the same sandals or with some heels to elevate the look all right y'all now we're moving on to breastfeeding and pumping friendly this dress right here for number one I love the floral print I love the colors the colors are just gorgeous they really are they're so pretty and again I I put it with this neutral heel when you have you know something that with a lot of print you don't want to go too too crazy with your heels or your sandals keep them neutral um, but this actually buttons from here all the way down it does have a little cinch right here it is not stretchy so make sure that when you're trying them on you know that you're not buying something to where the button right here is going to be like popping open but you can button it as low as you need to i like that it also cinches at the arm so you can pull it down or pull it up wherever you'd like but again it does have pockets and really pretty flowy i would even pair this with like if i'm out with the kids and I'm wearing this and I know I have to breastfeed somewhere or even pump in the car, put on your jean jacket, put on some cute white sneakers and you're good to go for a spring look. It is so, so cute. That's kind of my vibe is like kind of girly, but kind of not, you know, like a little bit of both. So again, this is definitely one of my favorites and the price point is amazing. All right, y'all, next. I think this one's one of my favorites. It is from Knox Rose, so it's a little bit more expensive. I think it's $35. I'm wearing my regular size medium. Um, this is great for breastfeeding, like I said, because it does button all the way down. There's not a lot of stretch, though, so again, not great for bumps, but it would be great for postpartum as well because with all of the extra detail that's on this dress with this right here with the buttons this eyelet um, that's flowy right here it will definitely camouflage any areas even the arms I like how the length comes down further so that definitely camouflages anything over here that you don't like and this dress comes with the slip dress underneath it already so it comes as a two set 
Now the only thing I have to say is I was hoping that the slip dress was gonna be like stretchy and it's not. Um, but like I said, for me where I'm at right now on my postpartum journey and wearing the medium, I have plenty of room. It's not like super tight, skin tight or anything like that. I can move around, but I don't have to worry about, you know, anything if this flows up, you know, there's a dress underneath. I wanted to show you guys this dress. Um, for one, I love the color. I love the way it looks. It's very functional. It's a little bit pricier than what Target's normal prices are for dresses, but I do think that Knox Rose puts a lot more effort into um, all the little details, so I think that's a great price for what you're getting. And it's gonna last. I like where it hits me right here about the knee, and then I would pair it either with, like I said, this really cute little heel, I still would pair this with some tennis shoes too. If I'm like out running errands with my kids, I throw this on, put some tennis shoes on, those little white tennies and head out the door. But you could totally wear the heels or wear the little sparkly studded, um, let me see here, the little sparkle studded nude sandals. I cannot talk y'all. The nude sandals, again, you're not taking away from everything that's going on here. I think the studs just add to any jewelry that you would wear, but it would still not take away from the beautiful dress that you're wearing. And then same thing with those heels. So I am definitely a fan of this one. Okay, I know I keep saying <laughs> this is my next favorite. This is my next favorite, but I do have to say these colors are definitely brighter. You've got a lot more like reds, pinks, oranges, navy. I just really, really, really pretty colors. Again, this is just a different way of styling it if you don't wanna wear heels or studded sandals or even sandals at all because your toes look crazy like mine do. I would wear it with my denim jacket or even like that other um, button up shirt I was talking about. They actually have one that comes in all white. You could use that as well because it's super airy and the air can flow straight through it. So it's like you're wearing a jacket, but at the same time, you're not getting hot. Um, a little shirt over your dress and then wearing the white sneakers. These I really like. I didn't mention this earlier, but they have the chunky soles and they are all white. So I do really, really like these. Let me take this jacket off. So now this one, again, is great for postpartum. Not only is it great for postpartum because of how much room and flow that you have, but if you're breastfeeding or pumping, the buttons function. So the buttons do function. Um, they do go all the way down. I also like how this is kind of like a high-low dress. It goes low in the back a little bit higher in the front, close to the knee, really, really pretty. And then you can also cinch this. So again, y'all, postpartum, when you're not feeling so good, you put this on, you know you can use it because it's functional, but then you can cinch the waist as much as you want. And when you don't cinch it, and even if you do cinch it, actually, they have stretch here. So I didn't even think about this until I just put it on, but you could actually wear this with a bump as well, because look at this. Look at how much stretch that is. And there's still room. It's so flowy and stretchy. You could totally wear this with a bump. So I ended up getting a lot. I'm wearing a large right now. If it were me, I would size down to a medium at where I'm at right now. Um, if it was earlier on in my pregnancy or postpartum, I would have stuck with this large and then been able to wear it for a long time. So just to let you know, because when I cinch it, here where the media or where the large is i can only go so far with the medium i think i could cinch it a little bit more and make it you know a little bit tighter here but other than that i also love how the sleeve is real flowy and just kind of falls on the shoulder really really cute dress all right this one is literally coming home with me actually both of these number one this cover-up I just put on it's coming off a little light here but it's like a super really really light violet or lavender stripe with white it's a cotton shirt I got it in a large or an extra large because I always get mine oversized to wear and since it's really thin it's great for spring and summer just to put over anything but um, I was gonna show because I did put this on with a little bit of that purpley pink color 
I thought it would be cute to wear it with these heels right here. They have these in, I think in like a yellowish color, but then there's like this mauve pinky purple color just to like have a little fun, okay? Just a little fun. So if you weren't to wear those, you could totally go casual with just the black, plain black, and these come in like a tons of different colors here at Target, really good price. Um, and then again, like I said, you could wear with the sneakers or even with these heels here if you want to, whatever, whatever you wanna do. This is the type of outfit that you could literally put any accessories and shoes with whatsoever. Casual, not casual, whatever you want. Other than having a super light cotton shirt, you could totally use a jean jacket, like the one I ha they have here at Target. Just that just as well would look just as cute. But let me take the shirt off so you guys can see. This right here is for all of it, y'all. You got a bump, you are breastfeeding, you're pumping, you are going through postpartum, you just want a comfy sleep outfit, you want a comfy outfit to wear during the summer, or even a cover up for swimsuits, this thing right here is it. And I, just, I found it in a bunch of other colors, but I personally would go with this black. It's kind of like a charcoal black, and it also has ribbing. It's kind of hard to see. It's got the ribbing, and then it has the buttons that go down to about right here. It is shorts, and then it has right around here in the back, not in the front so it doesn't cut off your stomach, but in the back it has kind of like an elastic band that kind of keeps everything tight so it gives you a little tiny bit of a silhouette not tight enough to where it's going to cut you off but just enough to give you a silhouette and you don't just look like you're straight up and down but let me take this off real quick all right y'all so here we go here it is i love again the collared look it's got the buttons and I'm pretty sure I'm wearing a medium. Again, if you have a bump, I would size up to a large because it still is really, it is really stretchy, but it's still a little bit on the tighter side so that you could totally wear it throughout your pregnancy, through postpartum, all of that. But it is literally the comfiest thing, you guys. Like, so comfortable. Um, trying to show the back there. It's not too short. It's just short enough, but not too short. It doesn't ride up the butt. You don't get like a, a line going up or anything like that. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I'm definitely taking this one home with me tonight. <laughs> All right, y'all, I definitely feel like a Southern Belle in this dress. It has a ton of texture and eyelet and everything all the way down i do have to say i feel like it is a tad short i would definitely go up a size or two now this is the type of dress you wear for postpartum anything that you want to cover up because it's still supposed to be a little bit flowy it's not supposed to be super tight especially around the midriff area but there's no way that you're going to be pumping through this thing or pulling it up or down to breastfeed um, it also is a little restricting it's not stretchy so it's not going to be for a bump now maybe early on in your pregnancy and you don't want anybody to know then wear this type of dress because it will cover it up um, nobody would have a clue but i added it with those little cute little lavender or mauve pink shoes to give it something a little different a little heel nothing too crazy because again there's a lot going on with this dress but it is a really beautiful dress i definitely love it i want to turn it around so you guys can see the texture it does have buttoning here which i could not button it all the way up because i'm weird about that i feel i get claustrophobic so i would have to have those unbuttoned but you've got all the eyelet detailing all the way down to the bottom it does have like an extra little skirt bottom under there or a slip so that <laughs> nothing is see-through and um, it is all cotton okay y'all I love this dress number one great for postpartum great for um, breastfeeding mamas also good for you early on pregnancies I think you could totally wear this during your pregnancy my only issue is that the bigger the belly the shorter the dress is gonna get so 
as long as you are okay with that, then that's fine. And number number two is it is a definitely a low V cut. I'm actually wearing a strapless bra right now and you still can't see the bra, but if you are not okay with that, then obviously this wouldn't be the dress for you. But it is a very simple cotton dress. This is the type of dress I would wear during the spring and summertime. Again, throw on like a uh, denim jacket, throw on a cotton shirt over top if you get a little cold, wear some cute sandals. I found these here and I think these are so cute just because of the chunkiness. They're a little bit different, a little chunky, but e if I didn't wear this, I would definitely wear the white sneakers with it. I like that it comes with this little detail on the side that you can cinch up the waistline or right under the breast area if you want to. Um, it was super, super easy to put on. And again, it does have pockets as well. So I love it. I can't remember if I found it in any other colors, but I do love this color too as well. It's definitely more of a pinky coral color. What do you guys think? Cute? Not cute? <laughs> okay, y'all. I've got a few more dresses. This one I definitely picked for you postpartum ladies because again, if it's spring and summertime and you're feeling like nothing fits right and you don't want all of this being shown, dresses are gonna be the way to go. Now this one is definitely more for like church, um, formal events, not necessarily formal events, but um, weddings, baby showers, like that kind of stuff, something that you really need to dress up for, but you really don't want to. <laughs> this, not only do the ruffles, but the way that the dress flows is going to cover all of the postpartum areas and all the extraness that you are not into at the moment. I definitely do like the neck, the square neckline, but again, um, this may not be the best dress if you are breastfeeding or pumping unless you're willing to go into the bathroom and like lift the whole dress up to do that. Um, it definitely is not going to be the best for that on the go, but for postpartum it is definitely great and I do love it's really pretty the floral colors. This is from um, Who What Where I think is what the name of it is. So it is a little bit pricier but again the materials are really really nice and then I just added those braided heels little like midi heel with it again when you've got a lot of ruffles and prints you don't want to go too crazy with the shoe um, you could definitely wear just sandals the studded sandals as well just to give you something if you're you're not ready to wear heels yet during postpartum which not every mama is but again let me get you guys a good look at the print and the colors it's all really, really pretty. It does have a little cinching right here so you can pull it up over your elbow or below the elbow, whichever way you want it. Again, really frilly, not see-through at all. And it's a really good length as well. And no zippers or anything. I just threw it over my head and put it right on. All right, y'all, so that is it for today's video. I'm going to be doing an two parts to this video because there were so many good items at Target today. So this video obviously was all about the dresses. Next video is gonna be tops and bottoms, everything for your bump, pregnancy, postpartum, breastfeeding, pumping, all of that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and get ready for the next video because that will be the rest of the haul. I'm probably gonna end up doing part three as well because they also have an amazing active wear line. They have awesome shoes, obviously, as you guys saw. And they also have great lingerie, bras, sleepwear, and then of course we're getting into swimsuit time. So get ready for all of those as well. If you guys are interested in those types or maybe let me know down in the comments what types of clothing do you like to wear and what types of clothing are you looking for? That could help me out as well. Um, as you guys can see, I told y'all earlier it's my birthday. Happy birthday, 35. My hubby and I, we're about to take my daughter over to my mom's house to spend the night. Um, baby's probably gonna fall asleep soon. He and I are gonna grab some food and come home and snuggle, watch a movie, 
and just hang out, just the two of us. That's all I want for my birthday and to go to Target. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed today, today's video, and I will see you guys on my next one.